Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh are here back with yet another 100% achievement and trophy guide and this time we are getting it all in while we wait right Yeah. This was developed by Bad Vices Games, published by Troglobites Games and is available for a rather deliciously small £4.19 slash $4.99. So this is basically a sort of kitchen management game with a whole bunch of dialogue choices, quite a few endings, and it's basically one where we have to cook some food while we listen to people's stories, and in fact the stories do get quite interesting, it's not just the case of a couple of boring stories, yeah, some real, real life situational stuff goes on, so a lot of these stories are very interesting. Um, in terms of achievements, there are a lot that are, in fact there's 15 overall, a lot of them are story related, but... We do have to pick specific dialogue options throughout the game in order to play some of the minigames and in order to get those achievements related to some of the people that you've got to listen to. So obviously, uh, now a lot of it I won't really necessarily be talking until we get to points in the story that they're going to need to. So yeah, y'all know the drawl. I mean drill. Uh, but this should take no more than an hour and a half to complete really, so... With that being said, then, let, 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 let's do it! And the first thing we can do is, again, if you don't want to skip the cutscene, you don't have to, obviously, you know, we do it, um, I'm only doing it, of course, to save time in the video, so skip the cutscene if you wish. Um, some of the dialogue you can skip again with the X button, um, and some you can't, not sure why, but uh, whenever you see the skip X button in the bottom right-hand corner, that's when you know we are going to skip the dialogue. So this is where the diner takes place. And you know what? I've always wanted to go to America just to visit some of these diners. You know, I know a lot of people want to go to America to go to New York and everywhere and see the lights. And oh my God, it's so cute. I literally just want to eat all the food because Americans know how to food. Bro, I want to be American for a bit. Right, so anyway, uh, as we start, head over to the flashing angry man who um, generally looks like he could be arrested for being a, being a uh, you know, sex trafficker or something. Uh, press the A button when you can, and that is what we will need to get. So that's what we're going to do uh, basically throughout the entirety of the game. You're going to go up to a person, you're going to, it's basically going to tell you what you need to get. So the first thing here is whiskey. And make sure to gla glab a glass, glab a grass, grab a glass, and then go ahead and take it to the um, sex offender, as it were. And I'm not being funny, he looks like everyone you ever see on the news that goes, oh yeah, so-and-so has been arrested for uh, sex offending. Uh, so put the glass down by pressing the A button and then the A button again to pour the whiskey, and that'll be him completos, and then you can go ahead and speak to your wife. Nora, 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 quite controller. How does she snore? Her? Loud. And this dialogue you can actually skip, so do it. Uh, but we will be coming up to our first dialogue option that we need to pick. Again, um, a lot of them are, spe in fact, most of them. In fact, I think all of them are pretty specific. So the first one we're going to pick is the top one. I prefer the house in the country. Bit of renovating. There is. You finally set your mind on leaving. <laughs> I'm sad to be leaving everything we've built here, but... Hank, you know, we've been dreaming about this for a long time now. Uh, I'm a retired old man. <clears throat> if you leave, where will I spend my afternoons? <laughs> Come on, Hank, you know me all too well. We need a change of scenery. And anyway, this Hello? isn't the only diner on the road. I'm not saying you shouldn't chase your dreams. I'm just saying, I'm gonna miss you guys. This place means a hell of a lot to the few people still around here. Can you hear me? Sorry to interrupt your fucking lame-ass shit family reunion. My throat is... And we're gonna be coming up to another piece of dialogue option where the sex offender is talking to... The old man with quite possibly the most hilarious looking teeth I've ever seen in a video game. Um, again, we are going to pick the top option, which is going to be scold, <laughs> scold the customer for his behavior. So make sure to pick the top option. 
But you need to calm yourself down. Who does this guy think he is? Hmm. So that's exactly what we're going to do then. We're going to head over to the Zest Defender. And we're going to take another order. And of course, his order is just still whiskey. We've already got the whiskey bottle on us and he's got the glass on the table. So um, after you skip the dialogue option, pick up the glass again. Or sometimes you have to actually interact with the character rather than the thing that you're trying to get. And you will pull, you will pour out a glass of the thickest whiskey I've ever seen. Looks more like caramel. But caramel whiskey does sound pretty good right about meow. Right, so once that's done and you regain control of Cleof, go back to the whiskey shelf. And then what you need to do is press the left bumper or right bumper to go over to the item. And then press the B button. Or you can just press the B button and that'll put the whiskey back. And then we get a new character called Mandy. Now, this room in the back here, which we can't get into just yet, this is where we store all the food and stuff. Being a diner, that sounds about right. So just wait until big, small Mandy finishes. And then go ahead, take her order. So press the A button on her. And of course, all she wants is a boiger. So let's boiger her up. Let's bugger the burger. So into the room, just to the back right. And the bread is going to be over on the right-hand side. Now, all of the ingredients will always be here as we go through the game. Um, through the entirety of the game, nothing really moves. Interact with the freezer, which will be at the top. And then interact with the mince meat once. And you can see in the bottom left-hand corner your inventory. So always be sure to just, yeah, just get, you know, keep making sure that you've got the same inventory items that I do. You can back away and then head out into the next room and... Then we can just go ahead and put both the burger and the buns again in your inventory. Press the left bumper or right bumper. You actually have to highlight whatever it is that you want to put down. So you put the burger down and you're going to put the buns down as well. And then it's just a case of waiting for them. Um, now, it's not like a rush-in game. You don't have to rush and do everything. Um, you know, so... In, you know, in like other cooking management games where you got to like... Rush and go grab a plate and do all this. Me, Not in this one, boys. So you can just grab a plate, as you've seen us just do right there. And then put it down on the tea towel, which will always be just to the right of the plate. And then we can go over to the burgers and the buns. So the buns you'll pick up, and then you'll be able to flip over the burger when the symbol, the flippity-dippity symbol appears. And then just simply wait for that. And then Cliff is going to stick that somewhere. I don't know where. He just put it behind him. Maybe it's like of that South Park episode where Cartman sticks burgers in his butt. But it actually tastes fantastic. I don't know. And he called them ass burgers. Oh. Yeah. Anyway, once you have the mincemeat down, you need to press the X button in order to prepare it. And then you will be able to turn around and give it to Mandelicious. Mm, thank you. <laughs> I'm finally being served by someone who knows how to do her job. I bet you're the boss here. Yes, and if I were you, I'd stop giving a shit. <laughs> all right, all right. Someone's a little touchy. That guy is such an asshole. I don't understand how you can stand having people like that in here. <sighs> Unfortunately, assholes like him help keep the lights on around here. I have animals that are more polite than that guy. Cliff, can you get me a cheeseburger and a beer? Then I'll try to stop by the sheriff's office to report... So we should start getting a bit of a knack of how the game is uh, sort of works. Uh, we're going to take Hank, old teeth bags. I mean, there are some incredible dentures, aren't they? So he wants a cheeseburger and a beer. Um, hello. What are you looking at, please, sir? Get the hell out of my COVID pub. Diner, wherever we're at. Anyway, ignoring that broski, we're going to grab the bread. And then into the fridge. Where we can grab some cheese. One slice of cheese will be fine, rather than two. Now, again, obviously, you don't want to grab too much because then you will be able to pick up the rest of the stuff for your inventory. Um, so, again, if you do accidentally pick up too much stuff, highlight the thing that you want to put back and then press the B button in order to drop it. Uh, but make sure to pick up a beer. So in your inventory, you should have buns, cheese, and a beer. Oh, 
sorry, we were having a little bit of uh, more issues there with the Elgato. Uh, so I do apologize about that. But we went and grabbed a, another minced meat burger. So then we can come back out, interact with the buns, and put the burger down as well. Head over to the left, grab another plate. And then just pop that down to the right of the tea towel. Now, I'm only explaining as I go now. Um, but basically, it, it it you know, it's all very common sense. And hopefully it should be easy enough to follow anyway. Uh, but I'm only sort of explaining for the first 10 minutes. Because um, obviously it's not a very big game. So you should be able to sort of keep up once you know what you're doing. And what uh, sort of orders we need to be grabbing. So again, press the A button to pop the... Burger, the cheese, the bands, the buns, all of that down. And then again, you will press the X button in order to prepare it, which then you can give to Hank. You can also give the beer to Hank, and then his teeth will be delighted. That's that's the noise I just imagine dentures like those makes when they eat, you know? Huh. That burger didn't last you long, eh, hey, Mandy? You can't imagine how hungry I was. Right, so we're going to pick up Mandy's plate. Now, of course, it is a diner. It is a kitchen management game, so we have to wash this plate as well. So head over to the sink right at the opposite side of where we were, standing with Nora. Give that a little washy woo in the dirtiest water I've ever seen. More like bathing in cola. All right. Mandy thinking she's Jim Carrey right there. All righty. Right, so off she goes. You can pick up Mandy's mono and then put that in the till over to the left. Give that a little beep, 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 and then Hank will do the same. And then Forensic Bro, you'll just sort of... Uh, forensic Bros, apparently. They'll just disappear eventually. See you, guys. See you tomorrow, Hank. Bye, Hank. Are we doing the right thing? This place is and for the next dialogue options, make sure to choose pancakes and coffee, which would be the top option again. <laughs> That's right. It was just my luck that your father decided to hire me. Yeah. It's been so long now. Maybe it's time for me. Oh. Uh, need As I, I, all this pain. I have to. The available details indicate that the murder occurred yesterday evening in a small diner I'm frequented sorry. mainly I'm by residents. <laughs> Now let's go back to the brutal murder that occurred a few weeks ago at the Lone... Lisa, wait! You can't do this every time. Did you- You can't- From now on- <laughs> Alex, where was he if he sh Yeah, smoke, sure. I forget- I- <sighs> Right, so now we get to play as two new characters. Um... Uh, not Butch, uh, Lisa and Alex. Yeah, Lisa and Alex, there we go. So, now obviously, what we'll do is, every time we get introduced to a new character, we'll play a little part of their story, and then as Nora, we will be able to listen to their story, so basically help them and agree with them in order to unlock those specific achievements. Now, honestly, you are 100% hotness if you do wear your sort of... Your, your panties over your trousers right there. Man or woman, if you do that, you're hot. So congratulations. Anyway, nip over to the car where you can see Alex's boyfriend um, engaging, shall we say, with another woman. Naughty, naughty. 
Over to Lisa. You know. Come on, get dressed. I can't Please. believe it, Alex. I feel so stupid. He's just an asshole who never respected you. You haven't lost shit. Let's just leave, Blaze. So, as a good friend does, instead of just leaving and bitching about it, we are going to grab a crowbar from just in front of us there. And then for the achievement, what we need to do is literally dent every part of Adam's car. So that includes every wing mirror, every window, every panel of the car. Now, I don't think you can hit the roof, but you need to hit the doors and the tires. I Mm, no, maybe not the tires. I don't think the tires are good. But basically, each panel of the door, each wing mirror, and each window. And then once you've done that, and the achievement will unlock, called I'll cheer you up. So just keep whacking every piece of thing of the car until you get the achievement unlocks, and then you can walk away. Yes. Just a moment. Sorry, but Mandy just couldn't mind her own business. See, she doesn't have anything. We have to be... Nora? Nora, can you hear me? Honey, are you sure everything is okay? Yeah, I was caught up in my thoughts. How come you haven't returned home yet? Why? Do you want to kick us out? Well, I'm also... I could... Ooh, boy, old gal Nora's hearing stuff right now. Uh, so, this time then, Mandy wants a pancake, and Hank, old teeth, teeth balls, wants uh, just a beer, which comes in handy, very easy to do. So, again, like I said, it is just a case this time of going into the back. Um, now, the game actually won't let you leave until you press the Y button to have a look at the recipes, it basically obviously tells you what you need to grab in order to make things, where to put it, etc. But, you know, I'll just tell you because it's easier that way. So going into the fridge then, this time we are going to pick up, obviously, a beer. Uh, we're going to pick up a one kyaub of butter, which actually turns into like five kyaubs for some reason. Um, back out so we can head out into the main dining area. And then slightly to the right, just next to the burger flipping machine doohickey doodah, just press the A button in order to whack out some pancakens. Now, again, should be very easy just to follow along as we crackle on. So I'm going to shut my mouth.
Um, good evening. Need help with something? Who the hell is this guy? Have you seen who? Um, well, well, oh, right, boom. I'm going to take a b b break for a moment, j j j just to refresh myself. Then I have to get going again. B b b believe you me. <laughs> I've got a lot of work to do. And actually, that pancake looks banging. Um, but yes, so here's another guy who is just, uh, you know, he's probably part of the birds aren't real movement and the earth is flat and all that stuff. All the stuff which has proven to be false, but they still believe it. Anyway, grab the coffee pot there on the right hand side and then a mug. And you will still have to put the mug down on the tea towel and then use the coffee with it. And then just give the old, um, <laughs> well, how should we say, I, I don't know. I'm not going to get into too much detail, so we'll just call him the conspiracy theorist, okay? Um, rather than, you know, offend people and they start shouting at me like last time. So once you've done that, we can go ahead, try to turn the TV on. And of course, it's going to go not that well. Shit, it just doesn't want to work today. They're still here. Relax, We're in dude. danger. We have to leave. They are listening to us. You need to come. They want to kill us all. It's just bad weather. No one weather. will come to help us. Another I'm the man, only one who can man. save you. Calm down. What the hell are you saying? The sons of Orion. B -b -b so next dialogue option we're going to choose is the bottom one this time, which will say "Lend him an ear." So make sure to choose the bottom option called "Lend him an ear," or if you're really Welsh, "Lend him a ear." Things do happen around here. They've been watching habits. One of their. You're tricked. To think. Sure, but me out. Okay, so hilariously, then this next part with Eddie, the conspiracy theorist, kind of reminds me of this. I just can't do it, Captain! I'm too tough and hard! Uh, hello? Eddie! Honey! You finally picked up the phone. Where have you been? I was getting worried- I told you, I can't always pick, pick, pick up on command. I have too much work to do. Oh, have you found a job that satisfies you, honey? I'm very happy for you. But don't you think a call every now and then would please your mother? You know I worry about you so much. Oh, did you eat them cookies I baked for you? How were they? They were delicious, Ma. I ate all of them. Oh, that's good, honey. And how about that medication for your mood? Are you taking that all right? Listen, Mom, I'm th 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 very busy right now. I've got some things to take care of. I will call you back when I'm done. Oh, no, just wait a moment, darling. Dr. Stevens called this morning. He, he said you didn't go to your session. I even left you a check to pay him. Yeah, I d d d don't need Dr. Stevens anymore, Ma. I'm not sick. I've been much happier lately. And besides, I've already told you he's not trustworthy. And about the money. Don't you worry, Ma. I used it for our common good. Oh, did you give it to that charity you like, honey? I'm so proud of you. You always had a big heart. Thank you heart. again, Ma. I have to get, get go now. I'll let you go then, Mama's sweetie pie. Remember to take that medicine. I will make you proud of me, Ma. Yeah. Ah, poor Eddie, but still. What I would do to have just one more phone call with my mother. Yes. Yes. Just one. Uh, right, so... Anyway, with this part then, um, while I go off and tear up, just go ahead and shoot all the balloons and basically everything that appears. There's no time limit, there's no rush or anything. Basically, the dialogue will just carry on and the um, uh, story will just play out. So, yeah, just keep shooting and eventually the scene will end. I've gotten really good at using it. 
I'd say it even saved my life. What are you planning to defend us against? Um, uh, I'll defend you from the government, which every day without your knowledge is d -d -d doing everything it can to steal all our money and kill us. On this, I may have to agree with you. Oh my god, Hank, don't start to... I will open everyone's eyes to all the truth some so-called scientists want to hide from us. <laughs> like the Earth being flat. Ain't it obvious that we're on a stationary plane? How can anyone believe that we live on a ball rotating at a thousand miles per hour around the sun? <laughs> it's impossible. We w w wouldn't be able to stand up straight. How many enemies do you have exactly? Too b -b -b many to count. My worst enemy is Dr. Stevens. But I'd better not talk about him. He makes me real sad. Oh, in any case, I haven't finished telling you what happened later that day. Uh, Eddie, wait a minute. There are other people coming? Believe me, you'd better keep certain things to yourself. Who are they? Do you know them? They're customers, Eddie. Hi. Is it possible to... Sure. And now in comes Alex and Lisa. Now, the thing that I've seen, I don't know if American diners are like this in real life, but you know if you've had like a rough night or something really bad's happened, you can go into any diner and it's like a judgment-free zone. Like, oh, up come the waitresses. Here's some pie, hun, and some coffee, hun. Or apparently some burger and fries, hun. And then, and then that's it. And then you can just crack on about, you know, being murdery or being, you know, punchy or whatever no no it's a judgment-free zone unless of course in america everyone actually really does judge you when uh you know hey please let me know please let me know what american diners are like and i want i will be coming to america at some point i will so again it is literally just a case of uh really just following the video now it's the same sort of thing we'd be doing making boigers and uh only this time we're gonna head up the ladder for another scene uh, but again, in terms of the kitchen stuff, it's pretty much should be hopefully easy to follow. Atticus. We can bring the boxes up here. You like it? What is this? <laughs> Clip. Only, no. only here.
two young ladies like you. We won it. We needed to get a bite to eat. She... Um, sorry, could you b -b -b bring me another coffee? Don't you think that, well, drinking all this coffee may get you a little worked up? I needed to keep my guard up. I need to stay alert. For the sake of all of you. I also still have to finish explaining why the storm the television was talking about is very bad news. But we do have another dialogue option coming up here with I just can't do it Captain Eddie and it's going to be the top one again which will be uh, your work ethic is to be admired so top option your work ethic is to be admired I was sure. <gasps> Hank, come here, boy. I got a little work for you. Now, in order to get a missable achievement here, make sure to go to the left and pet your cow. Yeah, who's a good slugger bugger? Uh, she doesn't bite. Achievement will unlock. So that should be four achievement four out of 15 for petting one of his own cows now again make sure to do that before you start gripping the old blue booby that is the cow bags man imagine if you have a, like a little little milk fight wouldn't that be so much fun not like the breast milk scene from the boys with homelander no not not like that although eh, it depends it looks fun It has been so long. In the beginning, things between us were so good. Unfortunately, it all changed very quickly. You're not gonna hang out with them good-for-nothing friends of yours. I forbid. I'll keep you busy. Don't you worry about that. There's work to be done. Your mother and I can't do it all by ourselves. You'll one day inherit this place. You know that, don't you? I ain't gonna feed a damn slacker no more. Your mother and I can't support your lazy ass forever. Look how slow and clumsy you are. I can't believe I made you. Been quiet, huh? Your mother's always been. You'll spend up. In the end, I did as she told me. Now look at me, Dad. Look at me now. Old, lonely, and tired. Man, what was it with, like, older, older parents, like, t treating their kids like literal slaves? Yeah, hard work and fear. That, 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 that's good. <laughs> that's how you raise your children. Not. Right, so basically all you're going to be doing is following... It is pretty much just a linear path. It kind of looks like sometimes... Oh my god, the way Hank says Bella the next time is hilarious. But it does look like there can only be uh, sort of split paths, but there is genuinely only one way to go. It's literally just a case of following the path. And again, laugh at the way Hank says Bella right now. Soon 
sooner or later, I will find you, damn asshole! was mistreated by my parents. I couldn't leave. I had no money, no friends. I always felt the weight of the responsibility they put on me. Shame, Hank. They come to steal into your home like it's nothing. You've done everything you've asked of me, but it has never been enough for you. Now it's a little bit more darker in here, but effectively, what we're trying to do is find uh, a stranger with our cow. Um, now, again, you might find him a little bit quicker than me, but I ended up basically heading all the way down. And then turn into the right, and then I believe I end up turning to the right again. And that is where I found Bella. Now for this next part, what's going to happen is a monster or something will start to appear. You need to turn around and start running the other way, rather than run into it like I did right here. Yeah, because that was a good idea, right? You see a big monster? I know, let's walk into it. <laughs> nah, bruh, you are turning around and sprinting. You mustn't... It was... Weather is getting. Are you? I've. <gasps> yeah. Well, it instruction. Uh huh. Alex, we can't stay here. It's not fair. Don't you understand that I am oh, doing this? Y'all do milkshakes here too? I'd love m m m me one of those. Hey, 
everyone. The weather is crazy out there. You can't see a thing. Rachel, you take Sarah's blanket from the car. Oh, not again, please. Yes, Bill, I have everything here with me. Well, I should get going now. Are you crazy? I mean, it's pouring with rain out there. It's not a good idea to get back on the road with weather. No, I actually think it is really time to go. Mandy, we're all stuck here. At least for a little while. <laughs> Happen, Lisa. There's no going back. Sorry, girls. No, we had a. Alec, we don't want- I'm sorry, d See? Is anyone here? No. There's a white car out there. It's ours. Right, so after a little bit more arguing or whatever, we are going to pick the top option of the dialogue again, which is going to be, take the girl side. It could have happened to you, too. Yeah. You wanted to call someone. Yes, but... Well, we can leave it go, then. No one was hurt. That's what matters. While you're here, I'll take the opportunity to Where order something. Where did you something. come from? Oh, we were making purchases for the little one. Getting stocked up to meet all her needs. We don't live very far, but we thought it was best to wait for the storm to blow over. We drive by here often, but we never really noticed the diner. Have you opened recently? Oh no, this place is very old. You must have never paid attention to it. I also come here from time to time. Ah, uh, have you seen anything out of the ordinary on the road? Mm, no, I don't think so. Well, next time someone asks you that question, you can say you met him. <laughs> What's with the, uh, hat? It is a long story. Yes. Very long. I put it on put the too. You have all the time in the world. This one doesn't look like it's planning to stop anytime soon. Please don't indulge him. Am I mistaken or have I seen you? it I didn't think anyone had actually seen it it's hard to forget a pretty one like her
back. Power will be back in no time. What have we done to you? I just need some silence. You just That's right. Why did- Shit. It may seem like the easy way, right? Nora, are you okay? You look- I thought- The light is- I told you! Ah! Right, so after the fun, that is whatever the hell's going on in Nora's brain. Uh, this is a bit of a fun part with old Eddie, I just can't do it, Captain. You're literally only going to be doing, there's going to be a whole bunch of aliens that are going to be uh, spawning, mainly in the room that we're in now. So you just need to shoot them twice. Um, I never actually got caught, so I don't know what happens. I don't think anything really happens if you do get caught anyway. Uh, but eventually, the center console right in the middle of the room, there are a whole bunch of buttons on it that you just need to press, and that will actually end this sequence. Kept coming from all sides. <laughs> you kicked the frog, human being, assholes! I had to find a way to stop the spaceship. And how did you do that? There was what looked like a, a command computer with lots of colored bu bu buttons. I pressed them all. <laughs> Remember it as a hero! Hoping to stop the spaceship. And again, then with the next dialogue option, we're going to choose the top one, which is going to be Eddie is a Eddie is a hero. Cause he shot some aliens in the bowels.
Come here. Nora. Come here. Look over there. Who? Choosing his heart. Uh, Nothing will. Uh, I need something strong. Mandy, honey. It's hard to tell. This is not a good situation. Hold Sarah for a moment. I need to use the bathroom. Why do you always cry when I hold you? So again then, for the next dialogue, we're going to walk over to William and we're going to choose the top option again to find a solution together. Things can get better. We... Yeah, but... She doesn't look real, does she? Look at how small she is. Bill? Bill? Are you there? Oh. Y if they... Well... Oh, you'll see. I think you'll... <laughs> Take it. See you So this next bit is nice and easy. Effectively, all we got to do then is this going to be probably one of the greatest inventions of all time. You know, people do that whole painting thing, but apparently this paint spray gun is so accurate that it doesn't. It just it's just one coat. It's perfect. It doesn't matter. Uh, you know, the corners gets in all the corners as well. So I'm just going to draw the baby a nice plane or rocket ship with a little bit of, uh, you know, a little bit of a decal right there and a little bit of a um, little bit of spray coming off the rocket ship uh, off the top right there. No, <clears throat> sorry. No, we can't do that. Um, so uh, press the X button to change the spray size. <laughs> yes, I'm still a child. Haven't you guessed by now? So you press the X button to change the spray size, and then what you'll just need to do then is just walk up to the wall. Uh, effectively, all you need to do is cover as much as the walls um, of the walls as you can, and then you will be able. You'll then get a prompt in order to press the Y button to read the paper. To my William, I have these last I and I'll be
care of it inside. I'm taking a break. Okay. I'm coming. You'll see. You'll come. Right, so into the diner we go as young Nora. Again, this is just another part where, for an achievement, we need to prepare all the recipes in the diner. And again, this is literally just a case of taking everyone's orders and making them. And we're almost an hour into the game, so hopefully you should have an inkling and an idea of what to do by now in terms of people mostly want eggs and bacon and bacon and eggs. Well, that's what you should have for breakfast. Delicious. And I know the uh, actual family guy line there is steak and eggs. But, you know, had to change it. But anyway, that's what it is. Begs, egg, begs and bacon and, you know, ice creams and pancakes and all the stuff. So it's literally just a case of continuing on.
Were you expecting me? No. Yeah. You did? <laughs> All right. Well, no. Uh, oh. no. have completely lost your mind, I'm telling you! Right then, so after that long bit of delicious silenceness, we're gonna choose the next dialogue option, which is gonna be, it's good to love your teeth, uh, your job, sorry. It's good to love your new dentures from Turkey. Uh, but no, pick the top option, and that will be another achievement for you called Workaholic. And then we've just got four more achievements left to grab. Do as I say for one goddamn time. I left your tip on the table. Thank you for everything. It's a nice little place, this, don't you think, Lisa? It's good that we stop for a moment. Whatever. It's all my fault. What's wrong? Do you see that? Me yes. Oh. You can talk to. And another one here with old William Bags, William Tell. We're going to tell him to choose the top option, to think about your responsibilities. That's going to get us another achievement called Heartache. You Mandy. I know, man. Yes. Thank you for a Time's running out, Nora. So, as we head outside of the diner, um, one thing to take away from this game is that... You don't have to, if you're seeking any advice or anything, especially if you are in America... You don't need to fork out on a very expensive therapist, you know, the ones that charge $70 an hour to listen to you and tap a pencil on a book and go in, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Literally just go into your local diner or a, a diner anywhere and just speak to the waitress and she's going to give you some top advice. So anyway, go ahead and speak to the girls. And again, what we're going to do is give them a little bit of dialogue option as well. Again, specific one for the I did it for you. When we get back to it anyway. Why am I so naive, Al? I can't believe I- No point. How am- You know. You could you- Well, we're really- Alright, let's see. Uh, <laughs> So, choose the top option. Dinner with Alex. That would be my preference too. And also for the next one, choose the top option again, which is punch him in the face. I- Yes. This course then is suggest that's right. You Sounds fit. What are you going? Well, no. <laughs> <laughs> Watch out! <laughs> Alex. Alex, he's still alive. What the fuck did I do? What do we do now? Holy shit. Alex, we need to help him. I didn't fucking see him, Alex. What the fuck do we do? Please tell me what to fucking do. We're fucked. We can help him. Hospital is at least half an hour away. We load him in the car. I can drive. Nobody's seen us. Come on, give me a hand. We'll lay him in the back. Nobody saw us, Lisa. There's not one other living fucking thing around here. What are you trying to say, Alex? What are you saying? Do you want to go to jail, Lisa? This asshole was walking around in the dark. What now? Alex, what the fuck are you doing? Alex, please stop. What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> So that escalated there from naught to about a million. About a bajillion zolts worse, if you know what I mean. Bzzz. Ah. Sizzle. Alright, uh, choose the top option again. Don't tell anyone. That's going to get the I did it all for you achievement. We'll find a way. Thank you. Are we doing... Are we doing the right thing? You used... It was just... Though... Yeah. We, uh... Um... Oh, they say this every... Cliff, 
Do you think he's okay? <sighs> I don't know. He did drink a lot. Can you check on him? I don't want trouble. Hey, bud. Is everything okay? Yes, yes. Leave me alone. Are you sure you're all right? Are you? You're still here? Can you leave me the fuck alone? <coughs> I think you better go and freshen up. And I think you better mind your own goddamn business. Okay, okay. Look, you better get out of here. I hope you've at least got enough money to pay for everything you've drank. <laughs> I don't have anything left. Okay, man, you're making me do this. Nora, call the cops, please. It's possible to reason with them. I really don't think so. Stay away from me. Today is hey, just calm not down, my day. Asshole. Hey, Put the weapon hey down. what the fuck are you doing? Get away from me. Okay. Okay. You have to calm down, though. I told you to get away, are you deaf? Shoo! Away! Leave me alone! Oh, fuck. No! Stop! We won't call anyone, just leave! <laughs> Lady, where are you and who shot your husband? We were in our diner, the, the load glass on, on Mount K Highway. Please hurry. Hello? Hello, can you hear me? Please answer. And that is how Cliff died. Unfortunate, and that's why he had a big eyeball bullet hole blood. You probably figured that out from the start. Um, you know, since... Not a lot of people tend to have holes in their eyes and blood pouring down it for no particular reason. Uh, but that is the How It All Ended achievement. Now, we do have to play the game again, only for the next, uh, uh, for the first 10 minutes or so. Um, basically, just choosing the opposite dialogue options of what we chose the first time in order to play as Cliff. So, as soon as we get into our car here, this will end the game and we'll have to, and we will need to replay it and play the first 10 minutes. So, you're finally leaving. Yes. Mm -hmm. What sense does...
took my beloved Bella this morning. I tell you, it was those sons of bitches. It's been weeks now that we've been hearing rumors about them rustling cattle. Did you come? <laughs> Have one. You should rest it. Fuck. 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 Are you. Is everything okay? What does he want now? Cliff, go and see what's up with him. <sighs> I'm going. Excuse me, is everything all right? I am ruined. Excuse me? It's none of your business. Do your job and go get me that drink. <laughs> Fine. Coming right up. Nora, is the whiskey on the shelf finished? Um, no, there should still be some left. You can take it. Cliff, come take a look at this. Coming. So this time, once you speak with Snora, Snorlax, the Nora, we're going to choose the second option, the bottom option, which is going to be the, uh, what is it, the city. I prefer the apartment in the city. That's three one. Set your mind on leaving. <laughs> I'm sad to be leaving everything we've built here, but Hank, you know, we've been dreaming about this for a long time now. Uh, I'm a retired old man. If you leave, where will I spend my afternoons? <laughs> Come on, Hank, you know me all too well. We need a change of scenery. And anyway, this is the only diner on the road. I'm not saying you shouldn't chase your dreams. I'm just saying I'm going to miss you guys. This place means a hell of a lot to the few people still around here. Can you hear me? Sorry to interrupt your fucking lame-ass shit family reunion. My throat is dry. Do any of you intend to carry out your job? Hey, you piece of shit! Can't you see I'm talking? And next up, we're going to choose the bottom option again, which will be keep calm with the customer and rip Hank's teeth out while you're there as well. Bro doesn't need veneers like that. So there it is then. Uh, keep calm with the customer, the second option. It's all right, Hank. Leave it alone. After all, I am supposed to be working. I'll be right there. That guy is too on edge. It would have been better to say something to him. He's drunk. It's better not to indulge him. Another glass. Are you sh uh, All right. Shall I leave you the bottle? Feeling lazy today? Of course I don't want you to leave me the bottle. No, I'll call you back if I want more. <sighs> all right, whatever. I didn't know you were back in town. A little break after a month of filming. I really needed it. And soon you will be seeing me. What? <laughs> I, you. Sure. Coming right up. I've already organized everything in the freezer. Mandy wants a hamburger with just meat. I'll get it from the freezer. Buns, on the other hand, are on the shelf to the right. All right. <laughs> it's an action film. I'm playing the role of the victim taken hostage by a gang of criminals. Wow. That's nice. Mm. Are you sure this is a porno flick? I would gladly watch that one. <laughs> Hank! 
Somehow, I had no doubt you would, Hank. Eh, fooey. Anyway, I'm very happy things are looking up for you. So they're letting anyone become an actor nowadays. With that awful voice. Hey, easy. You're free to leave if we're bothering you. I ain't done drinking. Would you look at this, asshole? Sorry, I was caught up by my own excitement. I didn't mean to disturb anyone. Here you go, movie star. I'm thirsty. Mmm, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Oh my god, I... I'm so sorry. I'll get you something to dry yourself right away. What the fuck are you doing? Why don't you just watch where you're walking, you bitch? Fuck me! Uh, calm down. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to... Really? I'm supposed to calm down? Why don't you go fuck yourself? That guy is such an asshole. I don't understand how you can stand having people like that in here. <sighs> Unfortunately, assholes like him help keep the lights on around here. I have animals that are more polite than that guy. Cliff, can you get me a cheeseburger and a beer? Then I'll try to stop by the sheriff's office to report those damn cattle wrestlers. Sure. You're already here. Is it really necessary to continue? You're free to go. No one's forcing you to stay here. Indicate that the murder yesterday <laughs> frequented <laughs> only by residents in the area, according to authorities who was visibly intoxicated and <laughs> That burger didn't last you long, eh, Mandy? You can't imagine how hungry I was. Take care, Mandy. We hope to see you again before we close shop here for good. Bye, Mandy. And after that long part of, again, just cutting some grub and all that good stuff, uh, once you speak to Nora again, we're going to choose the bottom option again, which is tease her. Tease me, tease me, tease me, tease me, please, my baby. And then stuff's about to go down again. Stay with me. The available details indicate that the murder occurred yesterday evening in a small diner frequented mainly by residents I've of the area. According to authorities, a man named Frank Smith. <laughs> Ah. 
And this is actually it then. This is where we're going to get our final achievement. Basically, uh, now we had, uh, we were able to play. Now we're able to play as Cliff because we chose the um, bottom dialogue options for each one. Um, so, but that'll be that. So <laughs> there we go. Then that'll be 15 out of 15 in less than an hour and a half. So thank you so so much for watching, guys and gals. I really hope you enjoyed the game and that the guide helped as well. If you did, of course, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share with a friend as well. A big shout out, as always, to my Patreon supporters, my YouTube members, and everyone who comments and interacts with me on the daily as well. So thank you so, so much. Also, make sure to check out my Gaming's Darker Side podcast. For all things true crime slash with gaming, make sure to check it out on wherever you get your podcasts. But from now, from me, this is it. I'll see you in the next one. Big love.